So, you want to know how to make a banana cream pie, but you don't have bananas, you don't have cream, and you've never had a pie. But I, I, I just don't know how to help you. I just, I don't. I, I really don't. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make, and actually how not to, we're not making anything today. I want to show you guys how you can change around the workspaces in Blender. Um, I know a lot of people struggle with uh, opening different spaces and closing different spaces and all the windows and all the boxes and all the dockable uh, docks and all the things. So let's get started. You can see here when you open up Blender by default, it has these uh, three, well actually four um, panels that you can see. So you have the main one, which is the big workspace, which is this bad boy over here. And then at the top, you have this uh, this place up here, which is basically like the layers tab in a way. It just shows you every single thing that you have in the scene. So for instance, we have the cube. The cube is highlighted. We have the camera. The camera's right there. We have the lamp, and which is the light, obviously. And those are the three things we have inside of a collection, which is inside of our scene collection. So that's basically just like layers and stuff. So that's basically that. And then this is the quote-unquote main little section where you do everything. So you can go to the modifiers tab here you can go to the modifiers tab here you can go to the world tab this is like the material tab it's like where you can go to do all the things and then down here of course is the timeline where you animate things with and whatnot now let's say you will go ahead and you accidentally put your cursor in the, the left uh, or the right hand side of the screen and just click and drag downwards you've gotten rid of the timeline on accident so now it's just gone you don't know how to get it back it's it's just gone forever it's 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 nowhere to be found so the way you can get this back is either by going ahead and just opening a new uh scene which is not the most lucrative thing to do especially if you've already started working um but the best way to do it is of course to put your cursor down in the bottom left or the bottom right and then click and drag upwards and you can see it'll it'll split your window into two so now you have two different 3d workspaces but we don't really want two 3d workspaces because we only need one essentially like unless you're doing different views for something like you want this view and you want this view over here you know but we want the timeline back so to fix that we're gonna go ahead and go to this little uh square at the top left so if you didn't if you notice you there's a top there's a box in the top left of all of these so this little box here right here right here and then right here you see if you click this you can change the type of uh, area to a different um, thing so instead of this being the 3d viewport we can change this to the dope sheet or we can change this to the drivers or we can change this to the shader editor or we can change this to the video sequencer which used to be the video sequence editor um, or you can change this to the movie clip editor or whatever but we want to go ahead and change this back to you guessed it nothing other than the timeline so now you can see if we just click and drag our cursor down once again we can get rid of it and we can go ahead and put it back the same exact way by just clicking timeline and we can grab this little piece here and move it up and down to make it bigger or smaller any way we want it to be so we can make this bigger or smaller as well we can go ahead and hit this button and change this maybe to the compositor you know or maybe we can go ahead and split our window into two by clicking and dragging from the left hand side and, and putting this to the shader editor which i do all the time in my tutorials um, and then we can go ahead and, uh, and in this section, we can click and drag a little another second box open there. And we change this to the info tab. Um, or we can just go ahead and change this to the, the shader editor again. We can have another shader editor over here, a tiny little one, a little tiny one. Um, but yeah, you can see that's basically literally it for today. Um, that is such a very fun and cool, easy way to kind of explain these little dockable dialogues and if you want to get rid of all, all of them you can't necessarily just drag this up into anything you have to go ahead and just like click and drag it to wherever you want it to be so to get rid of them put your cursor back in the same spot and then just click and drag either to the left or the right to the right depending on which one you want to get rid of and then the same thing works for all of these so we can literally get rid of all of these and we can only have the timeline open and then we can just change the timeline back to the 3d viewport as you guessed and now you can see the only thing on our screen is the 3d viewport which is not necessarily the the best idea because then you can't do anything but no fear you can just click it back open by clicking and dragging from the left hand side and changing this back to the properties tab so hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it i will see you in the next one but until then bye, -bye.